And welcome back to episode six of my Crusader Kings free playthrough. Now it's not all going to plan at the moment, but hopefully we can turn that around today. So let's get straight into the game. So Sig has given birth to another son. And uh, again, we're gonna go to the comment picker and we're gonna see what name we're gonna get. So the name of this child is Arno. So let's pick the education focus. We're gonna go with Marshall and we need to get one of our knights to be the guardian. It's gonna be our half brother, Sorkvir. Sorkvir the Humulus. <laughs> He's actually got himself a title. So our spy master has managed to get a strong hook on this person here. So we are gonna take that hook. Um, I do not know if they will be able to help us in our scheme, but we will certainly have a look if they can. And they can, so yes, we are gonna use that for sure. So with the hook, we can actually add them as an agent to our scheme, um, just to help with the success rate. Now getting back to our raiding armies, and this army is back. So we are gonna disband them, take that gold. So we can carry 85 loot, and we currently have 23. So uh, we don't need to go back just yet, but the trouble is, is because there's so much raiding going on around here, I just don't think there's going to be anywhere we can raid. Is there anywhere around here? 14. So we're going to try and go for this 14 down here. By their very nature, ting meets can often be extremely boring. If tempers don't flare and no one gets dramatic, then it's just a long list of low ranking free men discussing petty affairs and standing out in the rain. Yeah, I think we're going to go for stay awake purely because um, we will lose stress. So yeah, we're going to do that. And we do actually get the 40 percent as well, so we get the prestige. But um, more importantly, we lost a little bit of stress, which is stopping us from going insane at the moment. And our children return from meeting their peers. And our spy master is back with another strong hook. Yep, they are here, so we're going to use that hook to get them on board. Oh, our sister died of old age. Our sister Olva. I mean, she was having a bad time, probably uh, dealing with stress. A child's having a hard time as well, our nephew. Everyone's having a hard time at the moment, but our spy master has come back to us with another strong hook, and that's got that up to 70%. Oh, we actually got taken out on the way back home. We lost our money. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, so we don't get that raiding money, unfortunately. My treasury is empty, my larder barren. Even the rats have been sold to pay for my expenses. So we've actually got a lot of piety, so, you know, we could do that. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best one for us. We're going to lose 100 piety, but we get 50 gold. Oh no, our mother's called us to war now. We, we really can't afford to go to war. Hold on, joins a holy war for the kingdom of Sweden. She's trying to take the kingdom of Sweden. Ah. Oh. So we've got no money, but there's a chance that she could get the kingdom of Sweden. Yeah, we're going to join it. I mean, we just, we haven't got any money, but... You know, anything that she gets is going to benefit us. I mean, I'm not happy about it. I've got to be honest. Okay, we got another strong hook. And this time it's on this woman here. So we are going to add her to be an agent. I mean, we have way more troops than them. It seems that the Countess is tightening security at call, hoping to track down traitorous schemers. My fellow plotter is concerned that he might have attracted some unwanted suspicion. Now this is one of the troubles with having agents involved, is that sometimes they can get caught and it doesn't help the progress of the uh, scheme. But we have an intrigue challenge, which is 55% in our favor. We can get rid of him, which we can't really afford to be honest. Like we can't really get rid of him because we need all the agents we can at the moment. I think we're just gonna have to take the risk of the 55%. Yeah, you got it, nice, he remains undetected. And Buett has lost his sickness, he is all better and looking well. So uh, that I'm glad to hear. A bit of good news for a change, because uh, it's going pretty bad so far. On one particular long lazy day, my court chaplain Bondak thinks to challenge me to a game. Okay, he's giving me a challenge, right. What can we get out of this? Wow. Any of the options but this one. We do not want to take on any stress. Uh, this one isn't great because we lose opinion. So the only option we really have is uh, test my speech craft because obviously this one is 99% in his favor. So yeah, we're going to go for this one. Nice, and we got it. We get 20 opinion of uh, all of our guests and courtiers. I will take that. I will definitely take that. And our spy master gets another hook on this lady here. I mean, this is the last agent that we're going to need, I think. So we're going to get her in. And then we're going to get our spy master to look for secrets in another capital. Because she can hopefully start getting some strong hooks. 
ready for us to demand some payments. So this is for our abduct scheme. We have an 85% chance of her becoming our prisoner. So let's do this. And we get her. So that took a lot, but it worked out. That's the main thing. Oh no, war has been declared on us. Ah, oh, this isn't good. The King of Denmark, he has 6,000 troops. Wow, he is crazy strong. <sighs> right, so we have an alliance with our brother and our mom. We don't even have our alliance with Sweden anymore. Oh, not good. We're currently at war and these are coming to attack us. Okay, to rally the troops, we need to get some alliances from somewhere. Fortunately, we're not married, so we can actually use that to our advantage. So we need to try and get ourselves married to someone of power. We could try and get a marriage here. I don't even think a hook will get that over the line because of the faith difference. Yeah, our mother's really, really caused us some issues here. I think she's reaching a little bit too high. If she had come to me for advice, I would have said, no, do not do it. I'm just trying to think of what we can do. Because the problem we have is that most other faiths class us as evil. But these have 2,000 troops. So we might be able to get an alliance here somewhere. And their primary heir is this guy here. So I think we can probably marry one of our daughters off to this guy. Uh, or our niece, I guess. We can marry our niece off to him. Right, so we need to get a hook on this guy here. So hopefully we can get a hook there. And then we'll be able to arrange a marriage there and get a small alliance. Now obviously we're going to call our mother to help us. I mean, she has got 5,000 troops. She is quite strong. And then we have our alliance with our brother here. Yeah, so we can't actually get a marriage there either. So we're going to need a hook on him as well. Um, okay, well, we'll see if that hook comes about. But what we need to do now, get our spy master finding some secrets in Denmark. If we can get the Sweden War finished, you know, then I think we can actually start fighting the war against Denmark. So, uh, you know, we're going to be on the clock here. Well, hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, they've discovered that scheme against the king. I mean, Sig is uh, pregnant again. She's absolutely bashing out those. Uh, I think we ain't done yet. Okay, so get a strong hook on this woman here right we need to we need to get down to here quick it's certainly all going down at the moment i think we ain't doing it oh no now the peasants are rising up right well we're just gonna we're just gonna grant them the tax lien because you know we can't afford peasants rising up just at this moment in time so that war is over so now we just have this war to worry about so hopefully our mother sends her troops down to try and help us i think we'll be okay i think we're gonna do it i mean if, now she's bringing her troops down we, we should outnumber them. Let me check. Yeah, we actually outnumber them just, but we have just been in a war, so we have that to contend with. Right, now we have got our perks, so we're going to get golden obligations. That will help us get some money. We can get payments, which we're going to do straight away. Um, actually, let me check her daughter, because I'd rather change her faith, because we made that mistake last time, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to get her to convert to our religion, and then we're going to get a weak hook on her daughter, as opposed to getting the 50. So I think that will be better for us in the long run. Yeah, she's, she's got to help me out. She's got to bring some troops down here quickly. My steward has suggested that an irrigation project might make it arable and therefore valuable. Okay, we don't want to lose 50. Yeah, we're going to go for this one. We need a ditch and soil network. We've got a chance of getting a stewardship perk as well. So we've had another daughter with Sig and we are going to call her Freya. And our spy master has got another hook. And this is on a courtier of King Gormas. So see it done, get that hook done. And uh, we might be able to get a payment for that one. I think we can. Yeah, we can get 15 from her. Right, okay, all the troops are down here now. So hopefully we can uh, get hold of this war. I'm present on the day that the levees will be brought down to bring water into my new network of ditches in the chiefdom of Catilla. It takes hours for the water to start spreading properly. So we actually got the stewardship perk, which is good because uh, we needed that. So I'm actually going to get war profit here. Um, so we get the plus 10% while we're at war because, you know, we're currently at war at the moment and that will help us save a bit of money. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. So we have to go with the 75 to get the 75 because we need money um, desperately at the moment. So I think that's really the only option we can go for here. Now, come on, let's get in here and get these troops. Sheer comes of age. So let's have a quick look at him. So he has skilled tactician. He's a forder 
and he's beautiful and he has the beautiful trait so yes 12 diplomacy is his best stat he's greedy just and fickle <laughs> i mean overall like that's not bad probably not going to make the best knight in the world nice so she finally got her troops there just in time ah inga our spy master has died at the age of 64 she was a great spy master Right, hopefully we can get this fight over the line. Start actually turning this uh, war around. And we do. We got them. Well done, guys and girls. Now let's get some of this land back. Right, we need to get a new spy master in. So, who have we got? Oh, we got Chief Despordis. And we're actually friends with her, aren't we, I think? Yeah, we're actually her friend. Yeah, she will fit right into there. Nicely. She's got 23 as well. My son Kimbei has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. So Kimbei wants to become a knight. I mean, he's looking, he's actually looking like a good knight. But none of these traits will actually help him with that. But I think if we can get him diligent, I mean, that's going to help him so much because he gets the uh, stress loss minus 50%. We're going to take the 30 stress and we're actually going to get him diligent. Because uh, patient just won't be very helpful. Right, Portis is going to help us out again. Fortunately. Right, let's actually take our troops over to there. See if we can get some prisoners. 